You're going to learn three methods for solving these special right triangles, 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90. First, we're going to do the proportion method. Then I'm going to show you the equation method. And then I'm going to show you a shortcut method. They're all good methods. It's just use the one that you feel most comfortable with. And then in time, you can learn the other ones as well. Let's start with the proportion method. The first thing you want to know for the proportion method is you want to memorize these two triangles. So with the 30, 60, 90, the side that's across from the 30 degree angle we call one, the one that's across from the 60 we call square root three, and the one across from the 90 we call two. Now, any triangle that's a 30, 60, 90 triangle, like this one right here in example one, if it's also a 30, 60, 90 triangle, that means that these two triangles are similar by the angle-angle similarity. And so what that means is that the corresponding sides are gonna be in the same ratio, which means you can form a proportion. So for number one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say one is to x as square root of three is to nine. Now when you write your proportion, you only wanna have one variable, one unknown. Now I could have also done x is to one as nine is to square root of three, that would be fine as well. The main thing is you wanna match up the short side, okay, that's one that's across from the 30, with the short side, the one that's across from the 30. Same thing here, the longer leg uh, with the longer leg, okay? And then when we use the hypotenuse, you're gonna to wanna to compare the two hypotenuses. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cross multiply, this is the cross product, okay? And we have x times square root of three, which is x square root of three, equals nine times one, which is nine. We wanna get the x by itself, so we're gonna divide both sides by square root of three, those cancel, we get x by itself, but we don't want the square root in the denominator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rationalize by multiplying top and bottom by square root of three. Nine times square root of three is just nine square root of three. Square root of three times square root of three is square root of nine, which equals three. The nine and the three you can reduce. Three goes in here once, three goes in here three times. So we just get three square root of three for our x side right here. Now if we wanna solve for y, Okay, we can make another proportion. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to compare the corresponding sides. So I'm gonna say two is to y as, let's do uh, one is to what we just solved for, three root three. One is to three square root of three. So now all we have to do is cross multiply. One times y is y two times three square root of three is six times square root of three. So y equals six square root of three and you got it. For the 45, 45, 90, you wanna memorize this triangle, one, one, and square root of two. If we're comparing it to another 45, 45, 90 triangle, they're gonna be in the same ratio, the corresponding side, so we can form a proportion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say the leg is to the leg, so I'm gonna say one is to x as Square root of two is to eight. Now, one thing you wanna pay attention to when you're doing this is you don't wanna switch up the order. You don't wanna say one is to x and then eight is to square root of two. No, you wanna make sure you're doing like this triangle to this triangle, this triangle to this triangle. You don't wanna uh, change the order, right? So now we're just gonna cross multiply. And so we've got one times eight, which is equal to eight, x times square root of two, which is x square root of two. We wanna get the x by itself. So we're gonna divide both sides by square root of two. And so now, we don't want that square root in the denominator. We're gonna to multiply top and bottom by square root of two to rationalize. That gives us eight square root of two over square root of four, which is two. The eight and the two you can reduce to four, so x just comes out to four square root of two. Now, what you can do, if you recognize, see how this is one and this is one? That means that uh, these two legs are always gonna be uh, congruent. So what you can do is you can say, if this is four root two, we know that y is four root two, of course, you can also form another proportion using these corresponding sides, and you'll get the same result. Okay, now let's do the equation method number two here. So what you wanna do for the equation method is you wanna memorize these two triangles. The side across from the 30 degree angle, we call that the short leg, x. The one across from the 60 degree angle, we call that the longer leg, that's x squared of three. By the way, squared of three is about 1.7. And then across from the 90 degree angle, that's our 2x side. So you can see when you think about an angle, you know, the, the larger the angle is in the triangle, the side across from it's gonna get longer and longer. It's like a hinge, right? And so what you can see is the short leg is across from the, the smallest angle, et cetera. With the 45, 45, 90, the ones that are across from the 45 degree angles, these are what they're called the legs. These are gonna be x and x but the hypotenuse, the one across from the 90, that's gonna be x times the square root of two. That's gonna be, uh, square root of two is about 1.4, so it's about 1.4 times longer, okay, than the legs. 
So what we do with the equation method is if you know these triangles, you match it up with the triangle that you're given. So if we have this triangle here, we say, oh, I can see I'm given the longer leg, 6. And I know that the longer leg here in this triangle is x root 3. Let me make an equation. I'm going to set those equal to one another. x squared of 3 equals 6. Then I'm just going to divide both sides by square root of 3 to get x by itself. Of course, we don't want the square root in the denominator, so we're going to rationalize by multiplying top and bottom by square root of 3. This comes out to 6 square root of 3 over square root of 9, which is 3. The 6 and the 3 we can reduce. This comes out to 2 squared of 3. So what that tells us now is that x equals 2 squared of 3. Oh, here's our x side right here. That's the shorter leg. So that's 2 squared of 3. And since I know that x is 2 squared of 3, this is 2 times 2, uh, two squared of 3, which is 4 squared of 3. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting the x value in for x here, and I can find out what that hypotenuse is. Looking at the 45, 45, 90, it's the same thing. So if we know this triangle, we say, okay, they're giving us one of the legs 5. Let's make an equation, x equals 5. But if I know x is 5, I can say when I go to the hypotenuse here, oh, that's 5 squared of 2. And I know that if this is x, this is also x here. So these two uh, legs are congruent. They're the same. They're both 5. So that's the equation method. You're matching up corresponding sides. Okay, now the third and final method, the shortcut method, my personal favorite, what you do is you, just like in the last one with the equation method, you want to memorize these two triangles. And what we do is we analyze it like this. If they give you the side across from the 30 degree angle, that's the short side, we call that x. That's pretty easy to work with because we just have to double it to get the hypotenuse, okay, or, or multiply it by the square root of 3 to get the longer leg, okay. Now, if they give you the hypotenuse, that's pretty easy. The 2x side, you just have to divide by 2 to get to x and then multiply by square root of 3. The toughest scenario is when they give you the longer leg here, the one across from the 60, that's x root 3. You would have to divide by square root of 3 to get to x. You might have to rationalize. And then you double it to get the hypotenuse. So let's talk about that first, 30, 60, 90. So for letter A here, see the 5? They're giving us the one across the 30 degree angle. We know that's our short leg. That's the x side. So to get to the hypotenuse, we're just going to double it. That's 10. And we're going to multiply by square root of 3 to get the longer leg. And you're done. See, it's super quick. For letter B here, they're giving us the side across from the 90 degree angle. That's our hypotenuse. That's 20. So here what we have to do is we have to say, well, that's the 2x side. To get back to the x side, I have to divide by 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Then to get from x to x root 3, I just have to multiply by square root of 3. 10 times square root of 3 is 10 root 3, and you're done. The toughest one is letter C here because what they're giving us is the side across from the 60 degree angle. That's our longer leg. That's our x root 3 side. So we have to divide by square root of 3 to get back to x, the short leg. So the question is, is okay, what's 12 divided by square root of 3? Well, we have to rationalize it. 12 root 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9, which is 3. And the 12 and the 3 reduce to 4, so that's 4 root 3. Okay, so that was the toughest part. Now that we know the shorter leg here, 4 root 3, the x side, we just have to double it to get to the hypotenuse. And we get 8 square root of 3, and you've got all three sides. Okay, let's switch gears to the 45, 45, 90 now. This one's a little bit easier because these two sides, the two legs, the ones that make up the right angle, are the same. They're congruent. So for letter A, if you see, okay, this is 4, I automatically know that this leg is 4. But now how do you get to the hypotenuse? Well, you have to multiply by the square root of 2 if you're given one of the legs, or divide by square root of 2 if they give you the hypotenuse. So you want to work your way back to the leg. So here we have the leg. We're just going to multiply by square root of 2, 4 root 2, and we've got the hypotenuse. For letter B, this is a little bit trickier because they're giving us the hypotenuse, the x root 2. We're going to have to divide by square root of 2, okay, so that, to get back to the leg. So that's going to be, well, let's do it step at a time here. So 3 divided by square root of 2. Then we're going to have to rationalize by multiplying the top and bottom by square root of 2. And we get 3 root 2 over square root of 4, which is 2. So that's this leg here, 3 root 2 over 2. Because we know the two legs are congruent, we know the other leg, and you've got it. So if you want to see more examples working with special right triangles, follow me over to that video right there. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I urge you to subscribe. I look forward to helping you in the future math videos. I'll talk to you soon.